YouTube, how the fuck are you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new gameplay on the map Hardpoint. This is actually against a pro team. It's not an actual team, and the team I'm on isn't an actual team, but this was in a 4v4 360 Icons Pro Series tournament. So I was playing with Rambo, Methods, and JCap. Two of those members are a part of the Envious Pro team, and Methods is part of the Sore Pro team. And then we were going up against Saints, Felonies, Two Quick Sensor, who are also all pro players for their own respective teams. So this is actually a very good gameplay. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is grip. A lot of people ask me, do I use grip? Is grip worth it? Is that something that I should put on my guns? And I always go on YouTube and I, and I look at these videos of people like doing statistical tests where they take the gun, they shoot it up against the wall, they do three full clips, and then they'll shoot the gun without grip and do three full clips. And then they'll use the stats of where the bullet spray was and where the bullet spread on the wall was. And that's why they say, all right, you should not use grip because it's not worth it, as you guys can see here with the bullet spread on this wall. And then you'll have other videos where people just like use grip. They don't test out anything. They just say it so they can post a video saying to use grip. But my theory on the whole kind of thing is here is I don't like those tests. I don't like going off shooting up against walls because those really don't tell the whole story of when you're actually using that attachment in an actual gunfight in an actual match so for this entire gameplay I'm using a PDW with grip I believe I also have extended clip on I'm not sure if it's extended clip or if I'm, I know for a fact I'm using quick draw and I know for a fact I'm using grip so that's all you really need to know uh, I like to run three attachments on my PDW class because oh I'm using long barrel that's what it is long barrel grip and uh, quick draw. So, as you guys can see here, I'm winning a lot of long distance gunfights with this PDW. And in my honest opinion, that's because I have long barrel and grip on. I use attachments how I see fit. If I think that grip is going to reduce the recoil of my gun, which there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of recoil on the PDW, I'm going to use grip. I'm not going to go to watch somebody's YouTube video to see if they're shooting up against the wall and seeing if these bullets are going in the right position. Uh, I watched a pro, pro player, uh, Liar. He's a part of the 4 Not team. I watched his video on grip, and when he used grip on the MSMC, his guns seemed to sway left and right. The bullets never really went up or down. They just went horizontally left and right. And then when he, without grip, when he would use the MSMC, his gun would just shoot straight up and his bullets, after, shot after shot, would move up the wall. So, obviously there are some differences when you're using the grip attachment to when you're not using the grip attachment. And that's why I use it. Uh, I use it on my MSMC and I also use it on my PDW. Those are my two main classes and guns that I use in competitive play. And a lot of people when I'm live streaming say that grip is useless, grip is useless, why are you using it? I don't even know why you have that on your gun, it's a waste of an attachment on a gun. And I, I completely disagree with that because every gun that you use and every attachment that you use is personal preference if you can make that attachment work and it helps you get a kill and it's gonna help you win gunfights then by all means use that attachment a lot of a lot of players like to use adjustable stock do I think it's worth it do I think you need it no I believe that the adjustable stock kind of miss, makes you miss bullets. It kind of screws with your aim because you're not compensating correctly for how much you're moving left to right. A lot of people use quick draw instead of laser sight and vice versa. Do I believe that you should use laser sight and quick draw? You can, but they're kind of like the two standards for guns. So say you want to aim in quicker, you'll use quick draw. But say you don't want to aim in quicker and you want to fire from the hip, you'll use laser sight. There's just, with the pick 10 system on Black Ops 2, there's just so many different variables that go into picking your attachments on your gun. What kind of map is it? Is it long distance? Because it's close quarters. Are you going to have a lot of gunfights where you're in five feet in front of each other, like Raid and Hardpoint, where you would probably use a laser sight? Or a map like Yemen, where you want to use long barrel grip and quick draw? So there's so many different decisions that need to go into uh, when you're picking your attachments. So I've kind of strayed away from the actual grip discussion. And, and let me tell you this, I believe that grip is useful when using a gun and using an attachment on your weapon. I believe it reduces recoil, I believe it makes it easier to aim, and I believe it makes it a lot, a lot, a lot more simpler for the general player who's trying to aim and hit their shots more. 
Uh, when I used the MSMC and the PDW, I never used grip. I didn't think it was worth it. And then I saw a couple pro players using it, so I decided to try it. And to be honest with you, I could not believe the actual impact that it made on my my skill and my in my gunfights because I was hitting more shots, I was getting more kills, and I was more useful for my for my team because I was just winning more and getting more kills than I usually would have. Uh, real quick in this gameplay, you guys are going to see that we're up by quite a bit, and this team made a roaring, roaring comeback. And I uh, edited it out uh, probably about a minute and a half to two minutes of the actual gameplay because we were just getting dumped on, and it wasn't worth it to put in the gameplay uh, because this video would have been way too long. So you guys can see here that they're going to make a comeback, but either way, I'm still on fire this entire game. And I truly believe it was because I was using grip. Uh, like I was saying, it, it made an impact that I never really noticed while not using grip on the MSMC and PDW. So if I could go back, like, a month into the game I would have been using grip the entire time because you really won't notice the difference until you play without grip for a very very long time say like a week or two and then you switch over and use grip and just it, it's so it's so easy to use and you notice it. it it really does make an impact on every bullet you do shoot because your guns not flailing up in the air and with the PDW which has such unpredictable recoil you you really do notice and it does really make a difference so if I could give you any advice on to what attachments you should use, because I really haven't given you like a concrete answer, is like, is grip uh, worth it? Is it beneficial to have it on your gun? In my opinion, you really just need to take the time to use all these attachments and really find your best combo. Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that grip uh, is the best attachment to use, and you definitely need to use it. It's not. It's not the way I want to lay it down it's not the way it should be because it's all about personal preference on black ops 2 uh with whatever gun you decide to use with whatever attachments you're using and whatever perks you're using so uh really take the time figure out what you want to use decide what's best for you and use it be the best be a good player and find find your pdw with grip find your gun that makes it work because this is what gun this is the gun that works for me. PDW with grip, quick draw, and long barrel. I used to be an MSMC guy, but now I switched over to the PDW. And so as you guys can see here, we're going to get away from the grip. And notice, we actually start losing. We're down by two right here after we had like 140 lead in hard point. So there's about 37 seconds left. Uh, we're leading by five now, and it's really coming down to the wire. we got to start making plays if we want to win this match because this is a tournament match. This is intensity at its finest, and we need to get some kills here. I pick up one right there on center, and I push up to this rock because my teammates were finally picked up that kill, and that's three dead for us. We're racking in the time here. About 17 seconds left. I can't really see the timer that well, but uh, right there we kind of locked in our victory with some really clutch kills, some clutch plays, and some good hill time. So this was not only a, a good commentary in my opinion, but a very good gameplay uh, for intense matchups and a really cool tournament tournament uh, lookout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. 37-24, like I said, quick draw, quick draw, long barrel, and grip was my choice. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you too. We'll see if I can later. Hey guys, before I go, if you guys could give this video a like if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. It does help me out immensely. And if you guys want to check out my previous video from yesterday, which was a sick sniper 4v4 search and destroy tournament sniper feed, I would really appreciate it if you guys checked that video out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys later.